This review is going to be on the InstaHeater 1000 watt plug-in heater. That's pretty impressive. The neat thing is it's portable. So what does it say here? Plugs directly into the wall. If you look at this, this is a heavy duty grounding plug and plugs over here, prongs, uh, which it needs to be if you're cranking out a thousand watts of heat. Freeze up the floor space, adjustable thermostat, programmable 12 hour timer, two speed fan, no wires, no mess, which is true. It comes with a remote that uses a CR2032 battery that is not included, so I'm not going to be using the remote right now. Uh, it has a menu, it's got a thermostat plus and minus, and I believe, as I said, it's got two speed fan. This is a beefy unit here. And the nice thing about that is you don't have to heat up the house with a centralized heating system if you're just in a small room and you don't want to spend all that money heating the whole house. So I'm going to plug this in right now and test it out. This runs on 120. They, I believe, make a 220, 240 model for Europe. Um, again, 1,000 watts. So you should be able to plug this into a standard 15 amp outlet without a problem. Let's plug it in now and see what happens. There's the outlet I'm going to be plugging it into. A uh, few things I want to say first off. Never use an extension cord on something like this. These heaters, heater appliances draw a lot of current, a lot of wattage. It's got to be plugged directly into the outlet. No extension cords at all. So my outlet has the ground on the bottom and you but the the display on here is on the bottom so you can press this button over here and turn this outlet plug around you can turn it sideways you can turn it upside down what a clever design absolutely clever so in my case since the ground is over here i'm going to be plugging it in they really thought of everything with this now let's get down and look at the display we have a menu button, a plus button, and a minus button. Now the menu button allows you, if you press the menu button, you have your timers. We'll hold it down. HH, that is the high speed fan. It's very quiet, you barely hear it. Press it again and you end up with the low speed. Now we have the plus and the minus. You can turn it up for the temperature or turn it down. This is in Celsius, not Fahrenheit. So if you're in the US, you might have to do a little calculating over there to figure out, ooh, feel that warmth, beautiful. Wow, that's, that's really warm. That is, <laughs> woo, my hand is about five inches away, six inches away. So you definitely do not want anything in front of this, anywhere near it. I'm probably a f maybe a foot away on the left and the right, and maybe a foot in front. So you want to have clear space. So, because this is definitely pumping out the heat. This is going to heat your room in probably, I would think in probably five or 10 minutes, an average bedroom is going to be nice and warm and toasty but you really need to make sure safety is very important as they say in their instructions and on their uh, on their on the box you need to make sure nothing is in the way of this or nothing is to the side and as long as you do that then the space heater is just an incredible product to have and the neat thing is that when the room gets to the right temperature for the setting the fan will turn off so it's kind of thermostatically controlled again extremely quiet very compact it comes in black and i believe they also sell the 220 240 version that's perfect i've got an, i don't even know what the temperature setting is but i turned it way down i it, i've got my hand right next to a few inches from the side of it and I'm not even worried about anything being near it because it's just a mild heat. Let me turn it up a little bit. 
and it's still a very mild heat. Let's go up to, I don't know what the calculation is in Celsius for this. I just heard it kick in. I just heard the thermostat kick in. Made a little tiny click. And there's the warmth coming from the heater. So, my feelings on this, my thought, my review, this is a really nice, small, compact heater. And usually the space heaters nowadays, they've got a power cord. You have to worry about the wires getting too hot. The space heater, it could lean up against a bed and cause you lots of problems. It could do a lot of damage to your house. But something like this, this is plugged into the outlet so it's safe. And all you need to do is clear the area next to it. Make sure that nothing's... My hand's about a foot away. So after about a foot away, you're safe. It's putting warmth into the room. I would say a foot in each direction, on the left, the right, and the front. Make sure there's a lot of clearance, which you need to do with all heater vents and all heaters. And after that, for a very reasonable price, you've got warmth in your room. You could use this in a cabin. You could probably use this in a bathroom without a problem. In fact, that would be a great thing. Where most bathrooms don't have an outlet, but if you've got an outlet next to your bathroom, plug this thing in, you're not dealing with cords, nothing's going to fall into the sink or the shower, and what a great product to buy. Thanks for watching.